Aaron, I know you'll always take a win, but is one like this particularly enjoyable when the offense is firing on all cylinders like they were tonight? <clears throat> um, yeah, anytime, you know, you can get out to a big lead and, um, and then have, you know, one guy and David Hale come in and, and preserve it, uh, you know, to kind of reset the pen a little bit. Uh, definitely being some guys you want to stay away from, just a, just a good win and, and that the guys were able to um, continue to add on a little bit. Um, yeah, it's a good one. LeMayhew with another three hits tonight. He exited early. Is he okay? Yeah, he was okay. It's just a chance to try and get him out of there, obviously get him off his feet. Um, so, yeah, he was fine. Fouled the ball off his foot. Uh, DJ? Yeah. Yeah, it had nothing to do with that. He was, it was just kind of a turned into half a day off, sort of. So, what did you think of Herman tonight? Okay. Um, obviously, the third inning taxed him. I think, I think he ended up throwing over 30 pitches that inning, and I think that. That weared, him, weared on him a little bit, you know. I, I thought he was really sharp, actually. You know, gave up some hits that, you know, were, were you know, weak, some soft contact hits. Um, and then, you know, I think that with that, that third inning wearing him down a little bit, and then I think he came out just maybe not quite as sharp where he hits the leadoff hitter, um, you know doesn't turn the double play or doesn't execute a, a play on the mound and then all of a sudden he gives up the home run and, he, and his pitch count drives up so um, you know certainly a lot of good and a lot of what we've seen in Domingo um, but I think that third inning cost him a little bit. Frazier had struggled a little bit since coming off the I.L. Yeah. What did you see differently aside from results tonight about what he was doing in the batter's box? Yeah, not honestly, not a whole lot. You know, those he, he got some pitches that he could drive, and he put them in play with authority. And those are be, maybe been um, these last couple of weeks where you know the, that's been a pitch he's fouled off or or just missed or you know again when he's gotten deep into the count kind of losing that 3-2 battle tonight. Thought he did a good job in the zone, and, and when he got a mistake pitch, um, you know, he slugged it. He had talked that he could use a night like tonight. There had been a lot of frustration over the past couple of weeks. Did you sense any of that frustration? Um, not really. Um, you know, I mean, it's certainly good to see him come out and get some results when you go through. I mean, that's part of the... You know, growing up at the, in the big leagues, you know, you're going to hit your peaks and valleys a little bit. You try and manage them the best you can. And, um, you know, good to see him break out because, you know, I think we all understand he's capable of when he when he really gets locked in of, of going on a really good run. When you get back to back at bats from uh, Gary last night to his first at bat tonight, what does that say about his talent level and what he's capable of doing? Yeah. Um, it's been good, you know. I thought he had a couple other at bats tonight too, where he was right on some pitches, f fouled a pitch off uh, or two that I, I thought he was on time with and in position to do some damage with. Just missed a ball that he popped up. So even though he didn't get results after that first one, I thought it, I thought it, from a timing standpoint and everything, he's he's on point. He's 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 in a good place and really dangerous up there right now. Do you see him making some adjustments? Has he made some recent adjustments? I don't know. You know, I, I again. I, I always go back with Gary, you know, just trying to get him to really just focus on on good at bat. Just go have a good at bat and, and don't get caught up in the result because the swing will take care of itself. Gary used the phrase controlling the zone. Yeah. Is that what you see? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's so important for him. If he does that, he's lethal. I mean, period. He's he's as lethal as anyone when he's really making sure he gets his pitch. And, and even in those situations where he really wants to do something, he's doing a better job of not, you know, expanding the zone when he gets in a really good count. And, um, you know, he's uh, he's pretty dangerous. What do you say about Baltimore pitching? You've hit 28 homers this year. It's just amazing. I don't know. Um, I mean, we have obviously capable guys and, and guys with a lot of power. And, uh, you know, I think when we have gotten mistakes uh, so far early against them, we've been able to take advantage. Aaron, you said earlier John Carl Stanton was supposed to play in Tampa. Do you know what happened with that? He was not in the lineup. Yeah, so he was hit on, I think, a few days ago in one of his live ABs. He was hit hit with a pitch. So he did all his pregame work and held him out of, as a precaution uh, from the game just because that spot had tightened up a little bit, kind of calf, knee-ish area. Um, don't think it's a big deal and expect him to play tomorrow and, and all of his pregame work was good, but I think we just thought better to be cautious with it and, and give it a day. Were there any tests or anything today after, after he didn't go in? 
Okay, tomorrow, but you didn't have any. No, there was nothing. It was just, you know, some soreness from the, yeah.